Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I actually have a tag video for you guys. Now I was watching one of the YouTubers that I really enjoy uh, watching. Her name is Glamburger. She is so down to earth and I love watching her videos. I will have her linked up in the cards right here if you guys want to check her out. She recently did this tag um, called the perfect subscriber and I was so intrigued by the questions. Um, she also did inform in the video that the person to actually create this tag was named Katie Marie. I will have her video linked down below. Um, so definitely check out the creator of this tag. I just thought it would be fun to do a tag video and kind of get away from like tutorials for a minute. I feel like I'm doing them all the time and I definitely like to keep different things on my channel. So I figured this would be really fun to do and it definitely spoke to me. So um, before we get started, <laughs> if you guys notice, I have a new background. I actually have a new lighting setup. I'm really, really excited for that. So if you guys notice a difference, and it's a good difference, <laughs> please guys let me know. I really want to see how this is coming off for you guys. Are you able to see me a little bit more clearly? Um, so yeah, that was really exciting to be able to invest in lights. So. Hopefully it's doing the job. <laughs> All right. So the perfect subscriber tag questions. There are 13 of them. Um, I heard her answers. I, I thought it was just, I was just so intrigued. I haven't had time to think about it. Um, I really just kind of wanted to do it on the spot and give you my answers on camera. So um, the first question is, do you subscribe right away when you find a new channel or video or try a view? or try a few videos first. I would say it depends on the situation. Um, most of the time I have to watch a couple videos. I love supporting people, but I really like watching videos that either A, I'm interested in, <laughs> or B, someone that I have a friendship with. I will definitely watch their videos, um, but I'm not just gonna, subscribe to somebody I don't know if I'm not vibing with them because there are so many channels already that I do watch I don't want to overload myself so so I'll check out a couple videos first uh, number two does the make sure you subscribe mantra ever sway you to subscribe I wouldn't say that it makes me subscribe I think there has been a couple instances where like I'll watch the video and I really, really like it. And they kind of do the whole, you know, please subscribe thing. And I noticed down at the bottom, oh my gosh, I've either A, I'm not subscribed, which I thought I was, or I wanted to subscribe, or it just kind of is like a reminder, which for me sometimes, because I'm always busy, or, you know, maybe my kids will come interrupt during the video, um, I, I forget to. So I do like the fact that sometimes they put it in there. It never annoys me. <laughs> it never annoys me. I don't know why it annoys some people, but it doesn't for me. Like I said, it's a reminder. Sometimes it's actually reminded me to subscribe to their channel. So I find it helpful. Number three, how many channels do you have the notification bell turned on for? Um, now the notification bell, I would say I only have very, very few people on there. I know like Glam and Glore because I think she only uploads like once a week and I love her videos like love them um, but for the most part I don't have notifications on just because of the fact that my phone would be going off left and right because I do follow so many channels so what I do during my watch time I actually go to my subscriptions page so any new videos that have been recently posted I can kind of sort through see which ones I want to watch or who I needed to support who I haven't seen in a while I'll go through it like that and I'll watch videos that way so notifications I, I, I don't like my phone going off that much so um, so that is not on uh, number four do you ever do you watch every video from your subscription feed or only or only your favorites like I said I do watch a lot of people so I kind of have to rotate through um, so I don't get to watch every single one now there are people that I try not to miss a video for um, 
but you know life happens i'm busy you're busy it's, it's gonna happen but for the most part i do try and rotate through videos so um i would say i do pretty good i would say i do pretty good at watching people's videos or at least i try to be <laughs> i try to be uh number five how many channels do you never miss an upload for no matter how busy you are um well there are definitely channels that i do my best to always support technically i really only have four hours um throughout the whole entire week to watch videos um on wednesdays and thursdays my kids do dance class and just because of how far it is i'm pretty much waiting on them in the car for two hours every wednesday and every thursday so those are my watch time so that's when i will take out my phone and catch up on youtube videos and watch who is ever videos are up and out and i have missed or whatever the case may be that is my catch-up time four hours a week so i really really do my best number six what kind of commenter are you i suck <laughs> i comment but i'm actually not the best with words so my comments are never really like lengthy i try my best to always leave a comment but they're not going to be a full paragraph just because i i don't know i can never gather my thoughts or maybe by the time the video is over like bits and pieces of what I wanted to say as as I was watching it have vanished from my mind. So I can literally be watching a video and I'm like, you know, oh, they show a product. And, oh, I want to make this comment, but I, I'm going to wait till the end because, you know, you can't go back and you can't on my phone. I can't type as the video goes. It literally pauses the video and then I type. And if I want to continue the video, I have to erase what I wrote and so I wait till the end of the video to comment and like I said some of the the previous comments that I thought while watching the video gone <laughs> they're gone so um but like I said I do try and comment do you skip ads or watch I skip I'm not gonna lie um I know that's how the whole revenue thing works but I don't mind ads in the beginning or even towards the end of the videos but sometimes if it's like right in the middle of a juicy spot especially like you know Shane Dawson's videos depending on the ad itself it's some if it's something interesting yeah I'm gonna watch it that's that's no problem with it. it's like movie trailers sometimes I'll watch those um but usually I just get the the really annoying commercials <laughs> so I tend to skip those unless let's say I'm doing two things at once I'm trying to run a video and I'm doing something else I'll silence it and I'll let it play the ad and then I'll come back to it when the video picks back up number eight do you speed up video videos I try not to um, the only time I will really speed up a video is maybe on a tutorial um, because like I said, I only have like four hours a week to catch up on people's videos. So if it is a makeup tutorial and maybe they're doing their brush part, I can speed through that just a little bit so I can be able to watch more videos. But for the most part, I, I don't, I don't skip through. Number nine, do you click affiliate links or use affiliate codes? Heck yeah. I mean, I don't understand why people are actually against it, against this. If it's going to save me money, I'm going to do it. Like... I, I I don't get the controversy over that. I mean, if it makes some money, kudos for them. But if it saves me money, like, isn't that better for me? That's how I think. I have an affiliate link down below with Sigma. If people want to use that, they get 10% off their order. And I get a small commission. It's a win-win. I, I think that's a no-brainer. <laughs> Let's say I'm watching a video and it has a product I'm interested in. Um, and they have it listed down below. I can go ahead and click that rather than go to search and do this and do that. And it'll take me right to where I need to be. And I don't see an issue with that. So yes, I will click affiliate links. I will use affiliate codes if it saves me money. Let's see. Number 10, what's your preference when it comes to video length, your sweet spot? I typically try to do around 15 minutes. Sometimes in my tutorials, I know it can go to like 20, 25 minutes. Um, I've noticed that Wednesdays actually, I think the past two Wednesdays, my last in the past videos have been only seven minutes long. Um, 
So, but I like it when video is around 15 minutes. I don't think that's too long and I don't think it's too short. Um, so right in there, I think is golden. Yeah, I saw a post the other day, like one of the subscribers, one of the people that I follow said, oh, by the way, my video is 47 minutes long. 47 minutes long. <laughs> You're giving me time for nobody else. <laughs> so um, I don't, it would have to be something I really want to watch if it's going to be that long. Just saying. Number 11, do you thumbs up most videos? I definitely try to. Now there have been instances where like it's towards the end of the video and I'm doing my commenting, you know, my kid comes, grabs me, I hit submit and I, I forget to thumbs that up. There, that has been that kind of instance, but other than that, I do thumbs up videos. Number 13, do you share other YouTubers videos on your social medias? Um, you know what? The only time I actually get on social media is when I'm promoting my videos or I have a look that I post up. I actually don't really stay on Instagram like that um, or even Twitter for that matter. Sometimes they just give me a headache. So I'm only on there to pop on, like promote my stuff and kind of pop off. Um, or if I'm like looking for something specific on Instagram, I'll do that. But that's pretty much all I do with my other um, social medias. So I guess I could do a better job. I, I guess I could do a better job of that. But um, usually when I get on there, I just have like a one track mind. It's like pop one and pop off. So I like to think that I'm a good subscriber. <laughs> I try to be. I really do try to be. And I don't know. I guess with my with my time limit, I feel like I do pretty good pretty good. <laughs> All right, guys. So this tag was fun to do. I like the questions in it. I think they're really good questions. So if you guys want to join in on this tag as well, I will have all the questions listed down below for you guys. So it'll be a lot easier for you guys to join in on the tag. Um, do not forget to check out Glam Burgers and Katie's videos. I really, really enjoyed their answers. And I think their channels are very awesome. So if you guys did like this video, please give me a big ol' thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.